hello everyone so welcome you back to ashok tutorials once again so we will continue with our mathematics syllabus so here this is one of the unit where we have to discuss uses of games and activities in learning mathematics see as we know mathematics is a practical subject right which means uh, we can learn mathematics by doing certain activities by playing certain games right see this uh, mathematics is not like any other subjects it's not like literature so it's quite uh, similar with science right science is also a practical subject as well as mathematics is also a practical subject which means you see the application of mathematics in everyday life so as i have talked before that money now this entire world depends on money right money by whatever name you might call it in different countries but it is very clear that the world depends on money and what is written on the money the numbers are written right the numbers are written on the money so where are these numbers coming from these numbers coming from mathematics right and which country discovered the zero all right you 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 tell me which country discovered the zero in the comment section all right so let us see how much you remember what you have studied and also you know uh, mathematics is a subject which we can learn by playing see whatever whatever we play we always have the scoreboard why we have the scoreboard in order to write down the scores right whenever you are playing cricket numbers are there number of wickets number of balls number of overs then whenever we play football number of players are there whenever we play uh, basketball how many how many we how many balls we have put in the basket that we count whenever we play ludo what do we do numbers are there from one to six so everywhere you know everywhere numbers are involved everywhere even this mobile phone you are holding in your hand right now what are you checking on and on you are checking on and on whether the percentage of battery is enough for you to watch this video or not right so we are bounded by numbers everywhere so everything has a number even the watch has got number right so everything have number so that's why we say mathematics is a very important subject so that was the introduction now let's see games and activities can be powerful tools for learning mathematics as they make the subject more engaging interacting and enjoyable here are some uses of games and activities in learning mathematics along with examples see as i was telling you that mathematics is a subject you know when you when you correlate it or when you connect mathematics with the activities with the practicals with the games it becomes a very fun way of learning so the children they enjoy learning mathematics when you are able to engage them and how do you engage them you en you can engage them by taking them out outside the classroom show them make them count the number of trees make them count the number of uh, number of animals they see so you know you can do wonders with mathematics is a very interesting subject and in many schools we also have mathematics lab laboratory why we have laboratory so that we can perform certain activities with the students and make the process of teaching and learning a very interactive and enjoying one right so enhancing problem solving skills what does mathematics do mathematics help in enhancing the solving skills so what is mathematics mathematics is a subject which is loaded with what loaded with problems a number of problems i think mathematics have got more problem than we humans right so as we know we human beings have all, all of us we have problems in our lives right but at least we are better than mathematics so mathematics has got a lot of problem and mathematics is not able to solve it by itself so what do we do what do mathematics do mathematics take our help right so we have to solve the problems for mathematics so we are great right yes now there comes a game called sudoku sudoku 
so you know sudoku game you might have seen in newspapers in magazines so sudoku puzzle this is a puzzle game right that require logical thinking and deductive reasoning to fill in the rigid with numbers improving numeracy so sudoku is a way by which we can improve our logical thinking skills deductive reasoning is required in order to solve this game of sudoku all right so black black boxes white boxes just like chess chess board no you will be finding it on newspapers in magazines this sudoku then math bingo students play bingo with math problems and solutions instead of numbers helping them improve basic arithmetic skills now this math bingo is also a kind of game which the students can play and solve the problems all right solve the problems find the solutions instead of just finding the numbers all right and it helps them improve their basic understanding of mathematics now mastering basic operations whenever we talk about operations what do we mean we do not mean that biological operations and mathematics whenever in mathematics we are talking about operations we mean that uh, board mass do you know what is board mass bracket of multiplication division bracket of multiplication addition subtraction division so you know whenever we are doing something these four things are always involved math jeopardy modeled after the popular tv show this game quizzes students on addition subtraction multiplication and division so whatever you do you know we always deal with mathematics using these operations of addition addition means what to plus something 1 plus 1 equal to 2 right then add uh, then subtraction 1 minus 1 equals 0 right then multiplication 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 0 is 0 right and division 4 divided by 4 equals 1 so this is what the little application of I mean the application of mathematics we do with these certain operations all right with certain symbols with certain uh, ways all right now geometry and special skills now let us see what is geometry and special skills so tangrams tangram puzzles involve rearranging seven geometric shapes to form a figure given figure promoting spatial understanding see you might have seen you all might have seen uh, certain board like thing card like thing comes where different different pieces are there suppose it is a picture of a horse so it will come in different pieces you have to connect all these pieces together and it will be uh, like once you finish connecting in a in a correct way it will form the image of a horse so if i'm not mistaken this is the game they are talking about right now fractions and decimals fraction pizza students create virtual pizzas by dividing them into fractional parts helping them grasp concepts of fractions fraction pizza so this is also a type of game which i do not have much knowledge about so you please try to find out this one now data analysis probability games games like dice or card games can teach probability concepts through practical experience now see in class 10 in class i think only in class 10 yes we have prob probability chapter where cards are like you know cards are taken in order to solve those problems so we have 52 cards right so there are different different king is there queen is there jack is there right so and we have diamonds bad ace right so all those things are there in the card so and probability this is a probability game actually playing cards and also uh, ludo also you can take the example of probability we do not know which one will come once you are throwing the dice we never know which dice which number will come right and when you are playing with the card that also we do not know that is probable and also one more example of probability can be uh, tossing a coin right you see that whenever there is a cricket match what do the opposite teams do they toss the coin head and tail right so we never know head will come or tail will come so whoever gets head or tail they opt for betting or bowling accordingly right so these are all probability probability means 
which we are not sure of which one will come right next we have uh, next we have algebraic equation basketball students solve algebraic equation to earn points in a virtual basketball game so you know these days the world is taken up by uh, games right mobile games mobile games so everything is available in mobile phones now carom board is there ludo is there judo is there football is there cricket is there basketball is there so all the games are there in the mobile phone itself right so students or children we as teachers also as individuals also we also play everybody plays game right and through game you know you should play certain games which helps to increase your iq which helps to improve your reasoning skills which helps to improve your intelligence so you should in engage yourself in playing those type of games i see many people playing candy crush candy crush will not help you in the long run but if you are playing lux like sudoku or you are playing word arrangement one word solving so those things will help you in the long run right now measurement scavenger hunt students measure real world object and compare their measurements reinforcing measurement skills now this is also one type of game where measurements scavenge where measurement take place all right so i don't know how do they play this game but measurements play a very important role what do you mean by measurements measurement means we measure the length of that object we measure the height of that object we measure the breadth of that object all right then critical thinking now math maths riddles and puzzles solving maths riddles and puzzles can challenge students critical thinking abilities now you all are familiar with what are riddles right riddles we all know all know what is riddle so riddle means we give a indirect statement and the person have to find out what does that mean right yes or no yes so that is riddles and puzzles also help us improve our critical thinking abilities so in newspapers whenever you open newspapers you will find that riddles and puzzles are always there right now group collaboration so collaboration what do you understand by collaboration collaboration means one and more people are taking part together so math relay race in team students solve math problem sequentially passing the button to the next teammate so students can solve the mathematical problem in a relay way relay means one person is connected to another then again the first person is connected to the second second to the third third to the fourth so relay race i think all of you have seen how relay race is run right so in that way the mathematical problem can also be solved one person will solve then the second step another the third step another one then the fourth step another one so on and so forth right now real world application supermarket maths students calculate discounts totals and change while playing the role of cashier in stimulated and simulated supermarket so you know whenever we go to markets whenever we go to supermarkets what do we see we see certain percent of discounts are given now from tomorrow i think tomorrow is 8 of today is 7th tomorrow is 8 of october so you know a uh, big billion day is starting from tomorrow then even the sale is starting from in amazon as well the same the sale is starting in mintra also the sale is standing start, starting in flipkart also so everywhere the sale is starting and how do they attract how do they attract the customers they attract the customers by giving discounts by giving coupons by giving coins right so those are certain strategies the businessmen they follow in order to in order to attract the in order to attract what in order to attract the customers right so uh, let us see now all right so now let us see digital learning app so khan academy mathletics and prodigy these online platforms offer gamified math lessons that adapt to each student's level right so these are certain digital learning apps so digital learning app means we understand that it is those are the apps which deals with the digitals which means the mobile app the online learning app the online resources all right so it means that digitally we are learning it so math 
board games so monopoly scrabble and settler of Catan. these board games incorporate math concepts like uh, counting money strategy and probability so they, these are all the names of certain type of games the children can students can play right math art geometric art creating geometric designs and patterns using math principles can be fun to learn geometry now in geometry what do we do we draw certain shapes right triangles circles rhombus trapezium parallelogram then octagon heptagon pentagon so all these shapes we draw and we study right different type of angles different type of shapes so all these we study in geometry now story problems math storytelling crafting and solving story problems can make math more relatable and show its real world applications now crafting making crafts and solving story problems can also help the individuals in enhancing their mental ability about mathematical reasoning now math competitions math olympiad participating in math competition encourages students to think creatively and apply advanced mathematical concepts now students should participate uh, with enthusiasm in different type of olympiads or competition wherever mathematics is involved in order to improve their understanding of spatial objects abstract objects and mathematical logics reasoning problem solving skills critical thinking skills all these all right by integrating these games and activities into mathematics education what happens teacher can cater to diverse learning lifestyles styles foster a deeper understanding of mathematical concepts and make learning mathematics a more enjoyable experience for students so the last paragraph the conclusion is that the teachers by using all these activities and games can make the study of mathematics a very interesting one enjoying one fun one by engaging the students in his or her process of teaching and making mathematics uh, taking mathematics from a boring subject to a very interesting and enjoying one all right so everything depends on the teachers or how he or she cater to the needs of the students according to the generation according to the society according to the needs and according to the interest of the pupil right so this is all in this video and thank you everyone for keeping in touch with the short tutorials thank you